Hey, what is up everyone? Vicious here and welcome back to another video and welcome to Software Inc. Another simulation game that I thoroughly enjoy and I thought, hey, why not do a series on this game? Uh, the game itself is about creating software, so like 2D editors, audio tools, games, who knows what. You can create most of it, you can create hardware as well, that's later on. You need a bigger capital, you need more money to do that. So we'll focus on the software part in the beginning at least, and we'll see how we go from there. So before we start off, we are starting the company Victec Incorporated. Uh, totally not inspired by my YouTube channel. The way we're doing it is we have three employees or three founders of the company, if, if you would. There is, of course, me, Vixious, the guy here. He is going to be the lead designer on the team. He's an inspiring lead designer, and he's also have, have the main focus in design. He got a bit of a background as, as a programmer and an artist, uh, some servers related as well. Uh, the service is mostly to handle support, marketing, uh, accounting as well. And of course, leader as well. He's going to be the leader of what I will call the core team. So the main team uh, of the company, at least in the beginning, we'll see how we, we go from there. But we do also have two other founders. We got Joe Basic. He's the second founder of the company, owning 33% as well as, as Vicious and the last uh, girl of the company. Uh, Joe here is the programmer. He got a bit of a background as a designer and also in the service world. So Joe is going to be the basic or the, the starting programmer of the company, of the team. And he's going to handle the programming of basically anything we create in the beginning, contracts, software, so on. Uh, as far as service, he got a background in support, so he are able to handle two support tickets and he can also do marketing. No accounting for him, no law, law is later on. Accounting, um, maybe we'll train him up in accounting, we'll see. The last person of the company, uh, the founders of the company is Camilla Goodman and Camilla is going to be our artist. Um, it's the main focus is being the artist, she also got a background as a designer and a programmer. No service whatsoever, uh, so we'll have to train her up in that. A leader as well, she's not a leader, she's just kind of here. She's an artist, an, an amazing artist, and she got some service she can do. She can do some accounting, some, some marketing, and, and some support, but she will mainly be the artist filling in the services just to be there to help out with support tickets, and, and to create a bit of a marketing um, for the team. These are the three founders that I'm going for. I should mention with myself, because I am the lead designer or because my guy is the, the lead designer, I will need to have a private office. It's not going to be a thing in the beginning when we start off, uh, but we'll work towards that. As far as the settings, we're going hard mode. I have, I don't think I've ever played on hard mode, so it, it's going to be interesting to see how it all plays out. Some things are new since last time I played the game, so I'll have to learn that completely as well as you guys watching or, or following along here. We have the logos. I just generated a, um, a random logo. Maybe later on we can actually create our own logo, but for now we'll just use this one, the random one that I generated. I will be starting with $10,000 and a loan of $10,000 as well uh, that we have to pay back and we'll do that really quickly. But starting off with $10,000, we can't really buy much. So I thought, hey, well, I'd just take the loan, do a couple of contracts, get that out of the way. As far as hard mode, I think what's in here, what I recognize as something new, of course, the uh, creativity impact on sales is high uh, as well as the tax rates the tax rates are new we have to pay taxes now and we have to pay 20 percent because we're on hard mode so i guess i'll just have to figure out how that works um there's not much to it but let's just get right into it big tech and and start it up usually i would probably start off in garage inc but because we have three founders i think we'll go straight to the apartment it's a bit more expensive but we have a better starting point when it comes to to rooms and especially giving our guy his own uh, office. Uh, ideally, we would move up here um, and use these as 
the, the offices so we can have my own office in here and the rest of the teams around us. But for now, we'll just start off in here with the cheapest tables. Uh, how am I going to put the tables? If we go like, like that and like this, I think. We'll place in some computers and just place it there. Give them some comfy chairs to not burn them out completely. And let's decorate the room just a tiny bit as well. So, I think that should be good. I want to place down a... I don't actually think I need a water cooler because the founders aren't affected by food and bladder and all of that stuff so we'll get that in later once we actually have some employees that can take use of it uh, but we, what we will get is going to office down here we will get a clock sitting up here for the environment we'll get some bookcases in as well just to make it a bit more office like and it i think the bookshelves they do give the room a skill boost so we'll have that. I think this table here, this computer here will be mine. And seeing as I am the designer, is there any of these that are good for designers? The inbox is actually fairly decent. So let's go with that one. It's a skill boost as well, or a bonus effects. Uh, so we have Camilla will be on this chair here. So she'll get the drawing tablet and we have Joe will get the calculator because he is the programmer and I think with that we're actually ready to get right into to the game yeah I think so let's skip time forward we are paying of course some rent we are have paid some construction and this is the reason why I wanted to start off with a loan because if we started up with 10,000 we couldn't build this um, so let's skip the time ahead to the guys get here and we will get straight into creating some contracts. Uh, let's go with two designs here. Um, I don't want to burn out my guys, so he will be the lead design for that and Camilla will be the lead design on the other one. So because they have to be horrible, we don't really have to do much. We just have to go through an iteration, develop a bit. There we go. And if we pause the game real quick and we finish this one, it comes out as outstanding. And this one, inadequate. Okay, it's fine. I mean, we got the money. Didn't get the, the boost we needed for the reputation. But it's still, it's, it's okay. It's fine. It's fine. I think we can push through... Um, a couple of more we'll not go for a lead designer on that one because I don't want to burn out my guys so let's develop that one develop that one promote it and we are going to spend some time uh, fixing some bucks for these because uh, there is a penalty per per buck that we deliver and I think okay two that's fine both outstanding so where we are now I think we have 44,000 so we might as well just pay off the loan just pay it out there we go and now it's not a problem anymore if we can do one more contract before we skip I think we can afford to rent another room or lease another room to move ourselves out of the, the main room here yeah let's just go through it it's inadequate but i mean it's it's okay so before we move on i want to lease this room over here it might be an expensive decision but i mean we'll do it anyway duplicate this just to get something in here to make the room a bit prettier we actually need to get the environment up getting the environment up will boost the uh, effectiveness of the team and of the the workers now 
all three are naturally the finder of the, the finders the founders of the company so it won't do too much but it will still do a little bit there we go so it's 200 percent and it's 200 percent good let's skip forward and what did we pay here we pay dividends to camilla goodman and joe basic estate we obviously paid out our loan and I think if you go into here into taxes, and this is totally new to me, I have never meddled with the taxes before. So apparently we are paying 25% taxes. So essentially what I can understand from it, you take the, the income and minus the things here equals the balance and then 25% of the balance of what you've earned. I should say of what, of what you earned. Um, and that is what you have to pay. At least I think so. We'll see how it goes. We'll get a couple of contracts going. And uh, now our own guy is working faster as well. Because he's not in the room with all the others. So let's actually just fire out some, uh, some contracts. Just get them done. Get some money coming in. And I think when we, we surpass this... 90 to a hundred thousand will start developing our first software can we get one more done is that possible we just pause these nice good 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 and they are all done there we go Sixty-two thousand already good awesome what we need to take into account is of course we have to pay the taxes so getting up to a hundred thousand um before i think we have to pay the taxes in april april i believe so ideally i would like to get a bit over the hundred thousand but i guess we'll see this has to be mediocre this has to be mediocre as well so let's just get them going on this we'll get into the iteration part later on it's not really that essential for these early state contracts. But once we develop our own our own software, I'll get more into uh, into the, the iteration part of it all. Let's just pause these for now. Get these out of the way. Develop that. Why is this going so slow? There we go. Good. Start these up again. And... Oh, we just made it. Yeah, I know what. We're, uh, I'm risking it. I'm risking it. Let's fire them all out. They are inadequate and outstanding. I mean, we get the money that we want from them. So them being outstanding is not really essential. The only essential part about it is having the business reputation go up. The business reputation, if you get that to go up, it affects the the quality of the employee applicants as it says up there so once we go to look for employees for the company the applicants will get will be better than what they are now so now we're at two stars because we don't have the third star so give, getting the first star would get us better applicants in the future getting up to six stars would get us even better applicants it also affects how many uh, subsidiaries contracts and deals and so on we can have and own and the quality of them all so of course in the future it is worth something but not right now i think we will do one more round of contracts and we'll just power through really just power through them all go can we get how many more can we get in can we get one two let's try two see if we can do do two i think we might be able to there we go so we can do about four contracts of these early stage contracts at once and um, we are actually over the hundred thousand dollar mark now quicker than what i thought we would we would do actually um, so let's see our guy here. If we go, I'm clicking all the wrong buttons. Um, let's see here. So our inspiration is up. So we can actually start on making a 
on making something as uh, we can actually start to make a software now I'm, I'm rambling and I'm forgetting what I'm actually saying um, but we can start to make a software and I think we should do so I chose my guy to be a lead designer mainly in 2d editors we can do more than that we are not locked to being a 2d editor guy um, the more we do other stuff the better trained we are at it but because we're in hard economy or at least on hard mode um, the creativity affects the sales so being skilled in the first thing we'll do is essential to say the least because once we get some fans and people know our company we have a bigger chance of actually selling stuff either way so in the beginning we'll just go ahead and do a 2d editor and I don't think I'll do it right now. I think I'll do one more round of contract because I think 106,000. It is, it is not that much. It is not that much. Let's go ahead and go with that one. And we'll go with the game assets as well. And we'll wait for the, the founders to come in and power through this, get it all done. There we go. I think we can do one more con we can't do one more contract because i well maybe this one let's see if we can get this one done hopefully no we could not well well actually let's just go ahead and try it it's fine Thirteen thousand for that i'll take it i will take that okay being in july now i think we are at the point when we need to create the first software. So what I usually do before I create a software is I go into the event calendar and I take a look at what softwares are coming up. So we're creating a 2D editor. So if we go into here, we can see the red dots are upcoming um, softwares or games or hardware for that matter. But it is what is coming up within the market. If it was green, it's our own release. Uh, blue is our subsidi subsidiaries and so on and so forth uh, contracts deals you get the gist so we are looking for a 2d editor because that is the competition that we have and there's actually one coming already in december final frames 4 and we will most likely lose a couple of sales to that what else do we have we have power suit 3 in may coming out so ideally oh and we have vector style studio 2 coming out in december of 81 so there is a high competition in the 2d editor market ideally what we would go for then would probably be somewhere around august so not to hit the the release of power suit 3 and to be in the middle of of vector style studio and not to be too affected by by this year and, and it will take about a year to create i think let's pause the game for a second and go into the development tab here so let's go into 2d editor and should all of my guys just be in everything i think they should i could change my role to also be the leader i should probably should go ahead and do that because we are the leader and it does affect the team compatibility, it, we can socialize, hold meetings. It should improve being the leader for the team. So what we're looking at here for the first 2D editor is not to create something too expensive. We want it to be usable, but we don't want it to be too expensive because we want to beat the competition. I think we'll go with raw import or image import. As one of them at least and we'll go with brush stroke smoothing I think we'll go with layers because who doesn't need layers um, and I want this to be I want the expected interest to be high enough but I don't want it to to take more than a year to create um, so I'm just clicking through here seeing the different things and, and how it looks so if we go healing block brush we actually get 80 percent 
That's fairly good. Liquify goes to 89%. What if we go vector graphics? It goes up to 100. I think we will do vector graphics as well. So it is two, it's 2D and I think we, we do have everything. We have everything all the way up. So we do have the boost as well for it. Now we just need a name for it. And I am terrible with names. So I am going to generate a random name and see if I find something that suits me. Or at least something that I can change later on. Printscape, no. Photo edit, picture cut, frame styles, ink edit, edit. Vector frames, we could do vector. Or, or, I mean, we are called Victec, so we can do Victor frames. Victec, Victec frames? Would that be something to do? I think. Let's go with uh, Victec frames. Actually, let's capital, capitalize the T. I think I forgot to do that in the name of the company, but oh well. Let's go Victec frames for the first one we're creating here. What I usually do next is go into the all releases tab and go and find 2D editors because I want to see what the pricing is like. So we are in the 80s very early on and the ones that are already here aren't priced that high. And they have a lot of stuff. None of them, this one doesn't have vector graphics. So that is actually a potentially potentially oh they okay no forget what i said no 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 they have vector graphics in power suit um so i don't think we should price it at least not at 48 or 7 78 sorry i think we can go for 49 it's close to nearing half price but i wanted i wanted to be able to to actually sell it will take about a year to create and I think I want to go with a publishing deal for it. I think we're going for the marketing. I'll just order my own copies. I'll do my own funding. I do not want a uh, operating system exclusivity. I just want the marketing. It will cost us 30% in royalties, but I don't think we have the capacity to actually market it yet. If you accept this deal, you are contractually obligated to release your product in February of 1982. Okay. How does February look of 82? We have the Vector Style Studio coming out in December. So it's actually not terrible. I think February is doable. So hence where L. TD probably stands for something that I do not know, um, are doing our publishing or at least our marketing. Let's go into advanced because that's how I usually do it when I create this. I'm not going to create a framework because that will take us about two years to get that done. Uh, we have to develop it for the pen three. Okay. If we don't, it will cancel our publishing deal. So we will not change that. And I think this is balanced at 100%. We are wasting 5 or 6% interest, but it's all right. It's not the biggest problem. So with that, I think we should just go ahead and, and get started on, on Big Tech Frames. Oh, what did I just press? Uh, what did I? Okay, C apparently. So apparently C, you go into uh, camera mode. Oh, neat. I have never seen that before. I mean, it's not the, the, the best, but it's there. Okay. That's handy for, uh, prob probably handy for making thumbnails. Let's go ahead and call cleaning and call maintenance because the rooms are getting a bit dirty. And as far as I know, Joe Basic and Camilla Goodman are both neat freaks. Ourselves, or well, myself, is silent but deadly. And that means nobody wants to take the elevator with me. And I thought that was kind of funny. Can I move this table? Because it actually looks... It's it's ugly as, as hell. Let's just... Oh, I just... Okay. Okay, I just bought one instead. 
Yeah, because we have a lot of money to just throw around. Let's speed up the time and have them work at this Big Tech Frames 2D editor. I think now is a good time to talk about the iteration part of it all. Let's just skip ahead to a new day here. So in the design phase, there are iterations. You have iterations one, two, three, and four. With each iteration, as it says here as well, it positively impacts potential quality and how quickly bugs appear while developing the, the software. So the higher the iteration, the better potential quality of the product. So ideally we would want to finish the fourth iteration before we start developing the software. I don't know if it's possible with this one because we have a time frame on when we have to release the product, but it also affects how quickly bugs will appear while developing the software. So again, ideally we would want to get to iteration four and, and finish iteration four because there would become less bugs to fix in the beta phase. It makes sense. I will explain it again at some point. If you need, if you want it to be explained again, just tell me down in the comments or rewatch the video and hear it again. It makes sense once you play the game, but that is how the iteration of software Inc uh, design phase functions. And I mean, it, it's not too, too hard to get into. Usually what I do is at least make it to iteration four. Usually I try to complete iteration three and just get into four and then start developing the software. If I know I have a lot of fans, I have a lot of time, I know I'm going to sell most likely anyway, I will throw it through iteration four. I don't know if they changed it again. It's been at least half a year, maybe almost a whole year since I played last, but that's how I used to do it. And they changed a lot since then. Uh, apparently there are also awards in the game. Now I have never seen a reward in the game. I played a, a little bit uh, on my own uh, before recording this video and I didn't get to, to see a reward. I even played on easy, but apparently I w wasn't qualified for an award and we are losing money at this point. That is expected. We are losing 6,000 almost a month. So I'm hoping we can make it to release or else we'll have to throw in a contract in between to just generate some money. The good thing though is, I mean, it's not a good thing. We have to pay 28,000 in taxes, but because we're only generating negative money right now, we are not increasing the amount of, of taxes that we have to pay. So I guess that's a positive. The negative part of course is because we, we don't make any money. We um, also, uh, well, we'll eventually run into to bankruptcy if we don't do something about it. With the first one here uh, going through, I will just finish off iteration three and then we'll get straight into developing the software. So let's see here if we can just make, make that part or, or get to that point. There we go. Let's develop the software. We are starting up with 10 followers and that's because we outsourced our marketing at, at a cost, of course, at a cost. It did cost us uh, 30, 13, sorry, 13% 13 of our uh, oil and royalties to the publisher. But with that, I think this will be the first episode. Thank you so much for watching. I love Software Inc. If you like this video, please be sure to leave a like and subscribe to the channel for more software Inc and other games as well. I do have a series on prison architect running that you can go ahead and watch. If you wish, there will be a link to that playlist in the description down below. With that being said, thank you so much for watching and I will see you all in the next video. Bye bye.